Oh no, Hollywood writers go on strike. Movie and television production in Hollywood and beyond is set to be severely impacted after unions representing writers voted to begin a strike on Tuesday. The step comes amid a dispute with studios over working conditions and the shifts that brought about the rise of streaming platforms such as Netflix. Wasn't it the streaming services like Netflix that brought about the demise of places like Blockbuster? Because I remember when I was a kid, I used to go to Blockbuster to rent movies. But, but anyway, back to the article. Chief among the writers' complaints is reduced pay caused by the dominance of online streaming, yeah. which they say is leading to a shorter season and diminished financial returns. Many production studios has, have adapted their business strategies to account for a drop in advertising revenue as the industry shifts away from the traditional network television model. The dispute targets traditional production companies such as Paramount and Universal, as well as streaming platforms such as those offered by Amazon, Netflix, and Apple. The union added that the companies have broken this business. They have taken so much from the very people, the writers, who made them wealthy. Well, yeah, they're corporations. They don't care about you. In response, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers said it was willing to offer higher residual pay and addresses concerns about working conditions, but expressed opposition to a number of other proposals that the Guild continues to insist upon. Among the WGA's myriad of requests is a guarantee from producers that scripts will not be generated using artificial AI. Yep, because if they start using AI, all those writers are out the window. All right, the writers will not be asked to edit or rewrite screenplays created using the technology. Can you imagine being a writer and then being asked to rewrite uh, the script that was produced by an AI? Talk about salt in the wound. The action voted for by the WGA means that late night shows such as those hosted by Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, and Stefan Colbert will cease production immediately. Additionally, many major motion pictures on the release slate for 2023 be substantially delayed, while serialized television shows scheduled for later in the year could likewise be affected. I'm not going to shed a tear. It is the first work stoppage in the U.S. entertainment in industry in 15 years, with the previous strike in 2007 lasting for 100 days and costing the Californian economy an estimated $2.1 billion. Does that really matter? I mean, they probably just spend it on illegal immigrants anyway. Several other entertainment industry unions, such as those Representing actors and directors have expressed solidarity with writers. Well, of course, the actors are nothing without the writers. The Screen Actors Guild, SAG, eh, and Directors Guild of America, DGA, are set to hold their own talks with studio executives this summer. So in summary, I don't really care about Hollywood, because I haven't spent any money on Hollywood in, like, 10 years and as for things like Netflix I'll pass on that I mainly watch stuff on YouTube on my computer channels that are much more independent and as far as I know aren't even tied to Hollywood or Netflix well anyway that's it for my ramble take care